What's up guys, back in today with another reaction to My Hero Academia, this time of Season 6, Episode 1. Uh, really excited for this, as I've heard from a lot of people that this is one of the best, uh, if not the best arc in My Hero Academia, uh, for the source material that is anyway. So, um, again, very hyped up for this after last season, setting us up really nicely. Uh, the second half of last season was absolutely awesome, showing us so many uh, great backstories. I um, have probably forgot quite a bit, as it's been quite a while since I uh, did watch Season 5. I'm um, not sure how long it's been now, probably uh, probably about a year or so, um, but again, I just remember that second half having again so many awesome backstories and set up uh, for this war that's going to be coming up in this season uh, first half was very slow don't get me wrong first half kind of sucked uh, in my opinion uh, there were some kind of sparkling moments within that first half but um, in general it was uh, was quite uh, quite long and boring in my opinion then the second half picked up massively so um, hopefully we get more of that this season again I'm pretty sure it's pretty much all action so I uh, can't wait for it uh, let me know what you guys think about this episode though down in the comment section leave a like on the video if you guys did like the video and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date with these reactions uh, just make sure everything's cool yep and uh, let's get into it guys I've been lagging quite a bit recently on my videos so probably gonna notice a few cuts just to make sure I'm uh, Actually, recording fine. Haven't heard anything about the opening and ending for this season, so hopefully we we get those today. They're usually very good for this series. Muscular. I didn't watch the uh, the recent movie either. Actually, I think I think I might have saw some clips of it i'm not 100 percent. i know i've watched like two or three of them but i haven't watched the newest one yeah, there is a uh, there is a war brewing isn't there well i say brewing is pretty much here isn't it there's that massive guy I'm pretty sure Shigaraki's getting like the power of all, all for one or something now, isn't he? And I think his quirk, a lot of these guys' quirks evolved last season. Which is quite scary. Paranormal Liberation Front. But what's attached to it? Oh boy. Uh, I, I, do you know what? I'm getting the feeling this might just be the best season yet. I'm getting that feeling, that vibe. That was a bit of an old school looking logo there, wasn't it? Kind of a throwback to old school comics, perhaps. Very kind of like almost manga inspired intro so far, isn't it? Very much remember this uh, this Shirakumo figure. I did Google it, him beforehand, but it wasn't actually uh, what I remembered when I looked it up. It's uh, Oboro Shirakumo. Remember that being one of my favorite episodes of last season. As well as the uh, the backstory for Shigaraki. And Super Beaver have done some sick openings this season, haven't they? 
Who's that tiger guy? Oh shit, the Nobus. I do love Super Beaver. I think they've done a, a Pokemon video not too long ago, which was absolutely beautifully animated. But they've done a lot of really good openings, haven't they? Uh, again, they're, they're doing this this season as well as uh, My Family. It was that mouthing bit off. <laughs> mouthing. I mean, I mean, the guy talking's uh, speech was a little bit out of sync. Sanctum. Okay, so each leader has their own set of like three aces. Oh dear. Probably. You know, I'd love to see that. <laughs> I would love to see that. Considering everything we've seen up until like season four and such was just very much focused in this small Japanese hero school. I say small, it's one of the biggest hero schools, but it was a very kind of condensed setting. Whereas this seems to be, again, all across the fucking country. <laughs> There's going to be chaos. We've come quite a long way, is what I'm trying to say. There's a lot of him now. And he is good natured to be fair, isn't he? Uh, tw double or twice? Uh, twice I think his name is. Fucking double. There was only like two of him before, wasn't there? But again, he, uh, he evolved. I can't remember how Toga evolved. Everyone had their kind of level up. But, um... And I can't quite remember hers that well.
He is. He is good natured. He's a nice guy. Just unfortunate circumstance. This can happen to anyone. He's also the motherfucker experimenting on uh, the Nomus and Shigaraki. Okay. So we're investigating him, are we? Oh, if, if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure they're getting the kids in on this war as well, aren't they? I think, uh, I think they said they needed to help out all the agencies. And if there's going to be a war across the whole country, you can actually understand that. Even so, a little bit dangerous to send kids in. But, um, get us needed. Wow, look at, look at that. <laughs> a little, uh, a little chibi Nobu. That guy is mad as fuck. Really? You're sending them right in there? Isn't that just a, a death fucking wish? Of course. Is this enough? It really doesn't feel like enough <laughs> to, to go in there head on like this. To be fair, we've got a lot of men with us. Even so, again, I'm pretty sure we'll just get smoked, right? Especially considering Endeavour's team is not going to the Paranormal Liberation Front. Headshot. Older body. Never heard of that guy. But yeah, here's some of the students. See, I can't believe they're turning fucking putting mushroom girl in this kind of danger. <laughs> that girl behind her looks a hell of a lot like um that character from uh, Monogatari. Can't remember her name. But what what is she going to be able to do here? Yeah, most of the class A's guys are going straight for the paranormal. Wow. Oh, I got the groups mixed up. It seems like they've sent all the good people <laughs> to the easiest job, from my perspective. I almost feel bad for them. 
Wait, am I getting this fully mixed up? I thought it was Endeavour's group going, um, well, we'll wait till we see. I'll wait till I see till I make judgments, but I feel bad for whoever's not an Endeavour's team, to be honest. That's <laughs> what I'm getting at. And yeah, this is quite interesting, isn't it? Every, all of the heroes are going to be very busy. Oh, this dude. Death arms. Uh, here we go. That's uh, Endeavor's, one of Endeavor's heroes, right? The green hair. Jakku Hospital. The morgue. <laughs> sure, I imagine there probably is some dark shit in that morgue. But, um,. Yeah, there seems like a lot of people just for this one hospital. That well, seems a bit like overkill. But yeah, fucking hell, fuck that. <laughs> Imagine that. You're getting caught up in, in who else is it but Endeavour chasing you down. No, you got no chance, man. Again, that's why I kind of think this is overkill. You probably could have just called Endeavour for this mission, right? And sent every other hero to the Liberation Front. I think they're expecting there to be backup for the hospital and such, but I don't think there will be. Pain. That's good to hear. That's good to hear from him. That was another interesting thing. Slow, a slow thing, a slow burner that happened last season. But I really like the family stuff with uh, with Endeavor. I like Endeavor in general. Well, he's got no quirk anyway. Oh, fuck. So he does have a quirk? Ugh. Wow, I thought he didn't have a quirk. Maybe he added it to himself or something in his old age. And president might get him pissed. Yeah, he's remembering uh, Hirakumo. Well, look at him. These these doctors not just see his cha drastic change in age <laughs> since he uh, since they last saw him. Oh shit! Yeah, that's the that's the one. He that's who Shirakumo is. He's the uh, 
the teleported man. Again, it's been a while. <laughs> and I haven't rewatched it. I was going to rewatch it, but then I had a thought about sitting through those first 13 episodes. Should have just rewatched it from halfway through, really, but I thought I'd be okay. Okay, almost everyone's out. Secret path. Oh, my God. What the hell are they? Okay, so maybe it was a good idea to bring some back up here. Are they know me. Wait, these are from twice. What the fuck? Oh shit! He was a dupe booker. Maybe that's why he got aged a bit and started getting saggy. Okay. They did say this was a month ago, I'm pretty sure, so. <laughs> Super quick chair. I love a chair like that. Are they all quirks? Oh god, there's so many Nomu. Fucking hell, these have got cool ass designs. Nice animation as well, Jesus. Sure, they almost remind me a little bit of the Lickers from Resident Evil. Which are one of my favourite creatures. There's a little mini one. <laughs> oh, well, he wasn't around for too long, was he? Oh, and that's the end of the episode, is it? Damn, that was a sick first episode. Again, quite a lot of setup and quite a lot of kind of planning, but I think that'll be pretty much all of the planning for a while. But um, I think, if I'm not mistaken here, wow, that's sick. Just shows the two paths people take with a uh, with a loving family and those without, and uh, how uh, how events can quickly turn unfortunate, really, with that that kind of parallel there between Midoriya and Shigaraki. But um, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Again, I could be wrong here. Please let me know if I am wrong. But I think this is happening a month ago before. The meeting we saw at the start of the episode. Which makes me believe it's probably failed. Like, it's a failed mission, I imagine. Like, well, we might have got the uh, Doctor, because he wasn't seen in the uh, in the opening bit, but everything else seems like it's probably failed. I like this kind of grainy style. I like the style they've been going for in general with the opening and ending. Very different, isn't it? Ah. So what we go for next week? Yeah, I feel like she's in a pretty bad situation, right? Ah, oh, we got more heroes, nice. I feel very bad for her. She's in a bit of a predicament right here with all these Nomu around her. Um, we know Nomu are no fucking, no laugh. Um, just gonna check I'm not lagging. I probably am. Oh, I'm, a I'm actually not, funnily enough. 
I don't know what's happened in the last few days. I've just been lagging a hell of a lot during my videos and I haven't changed any settings or anything. It's very much a mystery, but um, yeah, enough about that. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching again. I feel very bad for this bunny girl. Um, she's quite hot actually as well, isn't she? I, I really like uh, her and uh, the dragon girl with the kind of claw over her face. I think they're two of the most attractive heroes, but that's a, that's a whole separate point. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I feel quite bad for her again. She's surrounded by all these no moves in these uh, in these pods and such. Uh, I've got to imagine they're going to be let loose. We've already seen some of them let loose. Uh, I'm not sure she's quite powerful enough on her own to actually kind of get out of this situation. Uh, we know Endeavor's in the place, so um, that's obviously going for her. And there's a hell of a lot more heroes on her side as well. So hopefully they can make it down there in time. Uh, again, very much looked like she was in a bit of a bad predicament. And I've got a feeling we're going to see quite a few... Um, deaths and lose quite a few heroes during this uh during the season uh from just what i've heard about this uh heard about this arc uh, about the, from the manga readers again i haven't heard any spoilers or anything but um just heard a lot of uh, a lot of shit goes down so can't wait for it um today's action again was quite a lot of planning and such and quite a lot of setup like we had uh during the the end of uh, last season but in a good way uh, setting us up for the next few episodes to come being uh, very much action uh, action uh, packed um, quite a lot of uh, funny facial expressions in today's episode wasn't there but yeah let me know what you guys think about this one down in the comment section leave a like on the video if you guys did enjoy this video and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date with these weekly reactions i'll be back uh, this time next week with episode two so hopefully you can join me then enjoy the rest of your day guys